all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have ktt a previous peak number one controller champ and he's going to be up against five silvers wish him the best of luck down in the comments and make sure you guys follow him with his socials link down below in the description and while you're down there if you guys haven't already subscribed make sure you guys are subscribed turn post notifications on as we do post daily here on the channel but let's hop straight into round number one all right ktt pushing outside from the pool spawn already only a few seconds into the round gonna pick up a kill onto lesion great start from ktt already able to take out one of these silver players and now he's gonna be trying to push in through kitchen window he does have grenades what would be really smart is if he tried to get some grenades from below especially considering that the silver players do have a mirror so there's going to be fixed spots in the site, like right here, where they're going to be playing. So this could be an easy nade for KTT if he decides to do that. But for right now, he's going to rotate up to the hookah window and try to drone out the site. He's going to find that Doc is inside of hookah playing behind the bomb right now. He's going to narrowly escape with his life, but Slap won't be so lucky. Mira goes down and the Doc not in a position to res him at the moment. But KTT will rotate off the window and that will allow Doc to rotate into Billards and res the Mira player. Very unfortunate situation for KTT there. He could have had two kills and put himself in a 1v3, but sadly he wasn't able to finish the Mira off and she'll get put back to practically full HP. Everybody's got to love Doc. KTT still on the roof now. A minute and 20 seconds left. He does have time. But it is very quickly getting away from him. Grenade goes out for the hatch and that's going to miss. KTT, what's going on? Now, going to be forced to push in through Hall of Fame door. But we are going to have Capkin who's playing inside of VIP. Holding on the DJ booth right now. KTT will push in regardless. Trying to bait out the swing from the Capkin. And he will do just that. Allowing KTT to get a better angle on him and... Oh no, Capkin swings a lot of damage onto KTT. And it looks like Capkin might be able to get away with his life here. And he re-swings the VIP door and KTT goes down. Only able to take out one silver in round number one. All right, it's round number two. And KTT is going to drone out that the Valk player is playing inside of blue bar. He's going to crouch outside the window and try to get another drone inside of here to find exactly where Valk went. And He'll get that information, but wow, where does the calf come from? Jumping out through Billard's window, KTT will be put onto 1 HP, but somehow Cav goes down in that situation. KTT still has the information on the Valk, and he'll rush straight into or office excuse me, and grab a nice pre-fire onto the Valk. So now three silvers remain. KTT already doing much better this round than he was last round. And only under a minute as well. KTT going to use this time to potentially rotate. Drone out where the final three silver players are playing. We can see them. They're all inside of sight at the moment. So KTT may not know it. But he does have full sight control. You're going to see he's going to throw out some beasts inside of blue bar to ensure no one rotates in there while he's droning. And I actually really do like the grim play coming out from ktt here i think it's really smart and it's actually i think grim's actually a really underrated operator at the moment but after droning out kitchen he's going to rotate over towards the kitchen window and there's two players playing on it doc with his back turns has no clue that ktt's rotated up and the first kill from ktt comes out but dead prone with the warden underneath the kitchen window will get the refrag how unfortunate honestly ktt was winning all of his gunfights playing everything perfectly there he almost won that if it wasn't for some weird silver positioning at the end of that last round so i think ktt is gonna pull through and grab a round here all right so round number three here ktt was able to drone out the warden player inside of sunrise and you can see that his drone is just underneath the couch right here he's trying to gain more information on where exactly warden is playing He's going to be behind the bar in Sunrise trying to hold this push down. The Twitch drone comes out from KTT, but Dead is there to shoot it immediately. He's going to fall back slightly now as he's worried that KTT is going to push straight in through Sunrise. The window's open as well, so 
He's not sure where he should look exactly. This drone from under the couch comes out from KTT as he uses that to gain more information on Sunrise. But ultimately deciding that it's going to be too much of a hassle to push. He's going to rotate above Sunrise and instead push for Hookah now. Warden's going to hear this, so he sprints up the Cool Vibe stairs, trying to stop the push-in from KTT. But KTT's got the drone on Vase here. I believe he missed Warden on the stairs, though. Either way, KTT will push in now into Hookah, trying to drone once again. He is concerned about potentially some roamers right now, and as we can see, there are some roamers. Dead is below at the moment, and Valk might be coming to help put pressure on KTT. As he swings down the Cool Vibe stairs, he's going to lose a gunfight to a silver player how unfortunate with the f2 as well that's embarrassing ktt goes down and round number three goes to the silver players he says he doesn't want to talk about it but let's talk about match point for the silvers ktt is going to be on defense let's see if defense is what he needs to start winning some rounds here all right round number four and match point for ktt he's going to be inside of billards trying to spawn peek through this window and that's exactly what he's going to do. The first kill of the round goes to KTT, but oh no, he went on cams in front of the window and the hookah player, Flores, was able to do all but about 10 HP to KTT. The rook armor might have even saved him there, actually, but the Amaro is already inside of Aqua and flashbangs are coming out. She's going to be rushing into sight with this shotgun. Sledge is pushing below right now. Flores is pushing into Hookah, but KTT is there to take him out. The shots onto the Sophia, but it won't matter because KTT gets overwhelmed. Too many silver players from too many different angles and KTT will go down. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to switch things up a little bit. I think we do a map number two, put the silvers on pistol only, and see if a different map's going to help KTT out. So let's get straight into that. All right, here we are on map number two. And the Silvers are going to be going pistol only, like we talked about. And KTT is going to be free to do whatever he wants. He wanted to play on Clubhouse and he wanted to start on attack first. So he's got everything that he wanted in this 1v5. We'll see if he's able to actually clutch it up this time. He's got the Bailiff. He's going to be droning on the top of main stairs, wanting to see if Laji is clear so that he can drop. He's going to open up the hatch, but not confident enough to drop. We are going to have a lot of our silver players around Lodgy capable of watching that hatch drop. So probably a smart move that KTT decides to not drop the hatch. He's going to instead rotate over potentially towards the site windows. No castle for any of the silver players. So KTT will not have to worry about that whatsoever. All right, slow start, but KTT off screen will grab a kill onto Mozzie. So now it's going to be a 1v4. So far, so good for KTT. He's going to be holding the door into Laji, and oh, here we go. Another silver player swings. Slap goes down. That's the mute player. And now, oh no, Azami's going to be swinging as well. Two players trying to push into Laji to retake and stop KTT from clutching up this round. KTT going to pull out the bees though, ensuring that if anyone does push him, he'll at least have the information on it. Elamines though, doing a lot to stun him. And oh, good flick from KTT. Azami goes down and another big kill for him as well. There's only one silver left. The pistols are not enough for the silver players so far. KTT watching. He knows that the warden player is on the east side by cash. He's going to use his bees to stop warden from actually pushing and he knows there's no logi rotate either warden does have a shotgun he could make the rotate if he wants to but he's not going to i guess and now ktt rotating into logi with only 30 seconds left all he has to do is stop warden from diffusing two claymores in hand but he won't have time to place them as warden hops over and pushes into bedroom ktt Going to be stopped from this Azami on the door, but he vaults over and he's going to grab the frag. Flawless round from KTT, not even taking a single hit point of damage. 
So if you guys counted KTT out after map number one, you guys were very wrong here as he's already clutching up on round number one. All right, after a successful round number one here on map two, KTT is going to be trying to push through stock and try to get yet another flawless round under his belt. But Rooney is going to be running out and trying to push KTT, but that was a mistake as, well... The F2 will take him down with ease. Aruni goes down for the silver <laughs> players. And it looks like Cade might be trying to refrag. He's down below inside of lounge right now. He's not sure where KTT is. And I'm not sure that KTT even knows that he's there. But he's going to be pushing through kitchen hall regardless. Potentially trying to push up through main stairs right now. But oh no, here comes Cade sprinting into bar. The shots come out from Cade, but it misses. The shots from KTT will not throw a little bit of damage onto the Cade. He'll finally grab the kill. Another player is swinging. That's going to be Malusi inside of the bar double door. Warden is coming over to help as well with a melee hole through the wall. KTT swings. Malusi is going to lose most of her HP now. Warden comes in to support but he's going to be put down to 75 HP as well. KTT still on full health, swinging in, trying to get one of these frags. All of the silver players now are pushing up, trying to kill him. He gets one kill. Malusi's outside for some reason. Thorn, though, inside the building, pushing KTT. He'll take a lot of damage, and it's a pistol fight from our champ in these two silvers. He swings. He'll grab one. He's going for the second, and he'll grab it. Another flawless round from KTT. It's too easy for him. If you guys haven't followed KTT with his socials linked down below, make sure you guys do that and come play Six Shot Academy with me and KTT in rank tonight. We're going to be playing in there. The link to that is down below in the description. All right, it's round number three and KTT wants to make it three straight flawless rounds here. He's going to have to deal with Mozzie though, who's on this garage door looking to spawn peak. KTT is going to get taken out in the third round. Wow, the spawn peak from the Mozzie player. That was unexpected. But hey, listen, KTT was able to grab two rounds in a row on attack on Clubhouse in a 1v5. I would say that's pretty good. All right, it's round number four, but this will be KTT's first round on defense. And look, the, the silver players are already rushing, but a smart Azami placement will stop the rush, and that will be a kill for KTT onto the Abana. He wall bangs Ash to low HP and is able to impact the wall up and finish her off now. KTT putting himself up in two kills already. Very impressive. IQ going to be rotating down through main stairs though. Letting his teammate drone for him right now. And they're going to spot out that KTT is holding these head holes. He's going to patch them up and instead rotate into Moto. He's going to get shot in the back. As it, I believe someone is pushing in through blue, but KTT able to grab this kill onto the IQ front side. Slap with the diffuser on ace inside of blue now. This was the player lighting up KTT just a second ago. Zero above in garage, potentially going to push oil pit to help out his teammate. KTT holding in the back of Arsenal right now as both of our silver players are inside of blue and they're going to be trying to rotate into church now. Slap. Trying to possibly plant as he has the diffuser. He's going to start placing that down. KTT is unsure of where both the silver players are. And he patched up his head holes. So he won't actually be able to look through these as efficiently as he could before. But it may not matter. Slap. Not going to be able to find the angle through there. But KTT will find the angle onto the zero. Coming back to the head holes. Both players taking a little bit of damage. Actually slapstone full HP. KTT put down to about... One HP now, the Deagle comes out, and Slap takes him out. The Silvers are able to clutch up just another round. All right, smart play from KTT here. He's actually decided to go on to Capkin, and I think that's very smart, as that's going to slow down these Silver players, and he might actually even be able to pull out a kill or two with those traps. So it's going to be like having some ghost teammates, but oh no, here we go. Captain going to, or KTT going to rotate into kitchen and just get taken out. What? I, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. What happened? How does that even happen? KTT apparently thought Grim was getting on cam and he was going to troll. Well, he's trolled his way to a 2-3 match point. He's going to have to claw his way back to OT. Wow.
All right, looks like the silver players are trying to nerf themselves further by shooting each other down to lower HP, but KTT claims he trolled last round, and I think he might be right. I definitely feel like he could have killed the Grim inside of Kitchen last round. A little bit of trolling was certainly done, so I hope the silvers aren't over nerfing themselves as KTT is going to push up, light up the Zofia to low HP. The C4 comes out, but it will miss. As Zofia is going to try to reswing and take new blue right now. KTT is going to rotate back into the site. And we're going to see most of our silver players above right now. They're going to be trying to open up the kitchen hatch. You can see Grim is getting that open. We've got Osa above along with Ace. All trying to push down this hatch. But KTT is actually going to be pushing up through the top of main stairs right now. No one is outside of chains to watch his flank right now. So KTT potentially going to be able to flank in he'll get the down onto ace right now Osa's is going to be trying to swing in but she looks the wrong way he'll get taken out the confirmation onto the ace but grim drops and he's going to be trying to plant right now kgt doesn't know this he's going to drop here's the plant doesn't know where he, the plant is going down at and oh no knock coming in with the deagle will finish ktt off and ladies and gentlemen that will be GG's. The Silvers take it 2-0. KTT doing a little bit of trolling, I guess. But make sure you guys follow him with his socials linked down below in the description. Come play ranked with us. Link down below in the description to Six Shot Academy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.